what is your favourite type of cutlery? Um, mine is probably a fork. Because the thing is, wait, no, 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 it's not, it's a spoon, it's a spoon. Because, because, I'll tell you why. Um, okay, you have, in front of you, you have three courses. You have a bowl of soup, you have a steak for the, for the main course, of course. And then for dessert, you've got a nice bit of cheesecake. Uh, maybe with some strawberries on top, uh, or raspberries, depending on what you're feeling like. Um, now, you see, the thing is, if you have a spoon, you're fine. I mean, that, that three-course meal, all you've got in your hand is a spoon, you, you'll be able to make it through. And the spoon is the only is the only item of cutlery that you can, the only utensil that you can do that with. Um, I mean, bowl of soup, you're just laughing. You're, you're just fucking laughing. Um, steak, you you can manage. I mean, it's not ideal. You would, you, you would rather have a knife or a fork or, you know, ideally both in your hand, but you've just got a spoon and you're going to manage. You're hungry, it's been a long day at work, you've got a steak in front of you. I mean, you're going to be able to, you know, kind of cut it, kind of chop it a little bit, you know, kind of tear into it, scoop it up, you know, dig into it. You've got you've got something you can you can dig with. You can kind of chop and, you know, you, you'll be able to manage. Um, and then the cheesecake. Firstly, the bit of fruit on top, you can just scoop that right up easily. Because even if, you, even if you've got a fork, you might pierce it. But, I mean, it's always quite difficult. You know how sometimes when you try and pierce an olive, it just kind of slips from under you? Or like, you know, pierce a grape or something, it just sometimes slips. With a, with, with a spoon, there's no there's no hassle, you just scoop that motherfucker up. Um, and then obviously the cheesecake, it's just easy It's easy to eat with the, with the spoon. Um, so yeah, that's my theory. Uh, so, what's your favourite utensil? And I'm only limiting you to the knife, fork, or the mighty spoon. Um, now, after that intro, uh, this is me. I'm not doing this live, obviously. Um, this is just me playing a free for all. Uh, and I thought I might try out the the steak out because I see a lot of people using it. I did this on my first when I first uh, did that video a few a few days ago, and I I really like it. Um, and yeah, if you get a small map, you can just kind of run around and just kind of go on little mini tears every now and then. This is a nice two step, is it? No, it's not. Ah, oh, fuck! I thought it was. Um, but yeah, I, I have, I'm having fun with the steak out. I'm enjoying Black Ops again. I'm enjoying it more than I used to, which I'm sure none of you will agree with, but but I like it. it I can play it by myself and I enjoy it. Sit down. Um, now then, um, tonight. Yeah, what is it? I'm doing this today. It's the... I don't even know what day it is today. It's Friday? It's Friday today, yeah. So I'm putting this up, and then tonight we are going to get the 150... We're gonna we're doing 150. We're gonna do 150 domination, and we're gonna come back from that, and it's gonna be epic. Um, I also wanted to talk about Modern Warfare 3. Um, what do you guys think? Um, I have been watching a lot of videos, and that seems to be the kind of mainstream topic from everybody at the moment. That's embarrassing. My phone ringing in the middle of a commentary. Let's turn that off. Um, what do you guys what do you guys think of it? Because um, everyone seems to be talking about it. Lots of negativity, obviously, but at the end of the day, they are the biggest selling franchise, and we are all going to buy it. And it is probably going to be slightly better than Modern Warfare 2, which, in my opinion, means it's going to be incredible. If they fix the little shitty bits that were in Modern Warfare 2, then we, we're sorted. Sit down. Um, and I also then wanted to talk about yeah, funny story. I'm going to put a link in the description of this to a YouTube video. I basically want to play a scary video game. And I re like a really scary one. I mean, like, not this kind of pussy Resident Evil shit. And I was looking online for a long time. A fucking long time. And there are, like, no scary, scary games. And the few that people say are scary, I've played, and they're not that bad. Um, and then I found... And then, then I found one called Siren Blood Curse. And it sounds ridiculous, but it is fucking petrifying. Like, even just watching people play through it on YouTube is petrifying. It's agony. Um, and it was the only one I found where, where I felt like that. So I thought, okay, this is the one I have to get if I'm telling myself I'm still not going to buy it because it's too scary. Got to get it. So I went into game today to try and find it. None of them had heard of it. Didn't have it in stock. Eventually, this one guy comes out of the stock and is like, oh yeah, isn't that that Japanese gore 
whole of the whole of game and I was like, Yeah, that's it, yeah. He was like, Yeah, we don't we don't sell that that kind of shit in here. And I was like, oh, shame. Um but I've ordered it and I hope that it's gonna come before I leave next week. Um and that will be exciting to video. Um yes. And finally the playoffs. Hello, the NBA playoffs have been epic lately. Uh, firstly, last night Miami winning and going on like an a 19 and 2 run in the last in the fourth quarter and then win by four points. And then Derek Rose misses the free throws. I mean, I know some of you are basketball fans, but it was fucking epic. So they've gone through and now they're playing Dallas in the finals, and I'm not even sure when that starts. But then Dallas, um, Dallas, um, they hit the Dirk Nowitzki, their player. He scored in their, they won 4 1 in their in their final. And here comes the game winner. Um, Cause you know I always make it good. But anyway, yeah, I'll make it quick. In their final, their 4 1, over those five games, he made 59 out of 61 free throws. That's a bullshit hit marker. But how incredible is that? 59 out of 61 free throws. Um, anyway, this has been me playing free fall. It's about to end, so I'm gonna catch up with you guys later. Enjoy it. Talk to you soon. Peace out. I definitely misjudged the timing of my audio recording. How embarrassing, there's still like 20 seconds left on the video. So now I'm actually doing another audio recording just to fill your speakers with my voice. Um, I told you about Dallas, yeah that's it, but it's just quite embarrassing. Oh, here comes the game winner. Cause you know I make it good. Look at that, sacrificing myself. Now you're about to see some bullshit hit marker. I mean, it's just, it's not on, but it's all right. I get the lucky bounce. He takes a seat. It's trying so long to win a free fall, so I know that wasn't like the best quality. But I mean, you're not here for the quality. You're here for the quantity. Let's be honest. And I am putting up a shitload of videos. Um, so I will see you all online later. Peace out for good this time.